I made a mistake in listing Jason you know, and I, uh, I had him down on the list, but he's not a candidate. He dropped out, and somehow uh, I, I missed that. So we're up to Commissioner Salsa. Well, good evening. I'm uh, Dan Saltzman, and I'm uh, currently the city commissioner for position three, and I'm here tonight to ask for your support uh, to be reelected May 18th. And I would just like to uh, thank, first of all, Rose City Park neighborhood for hosting this uh, annual event or every other year event. I think I've been here now for uh, at least three of your candidate fairs. And I did want to point out that uh, your neighborhood, the Cully neighborhood and the Roseway neighborhood as of last weekend are now 300 trees richer thanks to the efforts of Friends of Trees, which I helped last Saturday to plant over 300 street trees in your neighborhood. And one of the things that the Bureau of Environmental Services, which I oversee, supports is efforts to keep stormwater, keep rainwater out of our sewer pipes, because we're spending a lot of money on those works, public works projects, but they're not the only solution. We need to invest in green infrastructure too. And trees not only increase property values, but they keep rainwater out of our system, they increase as I said, our property values, an estimate of $13,000, and we all know we can use higher property values right now. My background is as an environmental engineer. That's what I was trained as. I uh, went to graduate school. I'm from this area originally. I was born and raised in Portland, Beaverton, and uh, trained as an environmental engineer, and I took that background uh, first to Washington, D.C., where I worked for uh, now Senator Ron Wyden when he was just a uh, baby congressman. First four years he was in Congress. And I think what I learned from Ron, I worked on environmental issues for him. What I learned from working for somebody like Ron, who I'm also pleased to say is endorsing me, is that if you work hard, you can make a difference. And you need to be bipartisan. And I think those have been two hallmarks of Ron Wyden's career. And that excited me enough that when I returned to Portland and went to work in the private sector for CH2M Hill and then later started my own small business, was to get involved and make a difference. And I felt I was doing good work in the private sector, but I gradually became more interested in issues around making sure that our elderly are getting meals and being fed, and also making sure that children who are being abused and women who are being abused, that we're doing better by them. And so my focus and passions throughout my public career have been on the environment and on helping families succeed in Portland. And I've, through my volunteer experience, I think first through serving on the Portland Community College Board of Directors, later on the Multnomah County Commission, and now on the Portland City Council, I think I've held true to those values throughout. Now certainly I'm in charge of lots of bureaus, like the Police Bureau right now, uh, which you know could be both a blessing and a curse. The curse, you read about the papers too often. But the blessings is, I also have the chance to make sure that we have things like a stronger domestic violence response unit, we have a stronger child abuse team, and that we are working to better relationships with neighbors and the community. And it's been a challenge, and I'll be happy to answer more questions about that, but a related function of mine is also overseeing the Office of Youth Violence Prevention, which is working hard to keep people out of gangs and to keep gang violence quelled. And right now in spring break, we're in the thick of it. And I'm pleased to say that, you know, so far, knock on wood, there have been no shootings this week. Uh, in part, that's due to the summer school, or I'm sorry, spring break schools we have funded, summer youth programs that Commissioner Fish and I have started, uh, actually jump started, starting over in spring break, not summer, and also working with the police to make sure that we have a uh, strong presence on the streets during a crisis time. I'm also in charge of the Portland Children's Levy, which is something that voters have passed twice now, and you have said that we want to invest in families and children and do better by them. And we are investing in cost-effective, proven programs in the nonprofit sector that help people in early childhood development, child abuse prevention and intervention, after school and mentoring programs. And with your vote last year in 2008, two years ago, uh, we added a fifth category of investment and that's helping children in foster care succeed. We keep our administrative expenses at 5% or below and we are serving now between 13,000 and 16,000 kids a year with services that are helping them succeed and helping their families succeed. So I'm very honored. I think my record is a strong, independent leader, somebody who cares about Portland's families and keeps a careful eye on the bottom line in City Hall. 
is what earns me your support. I hope that would earn you, help me earn your support for another term. Thank you.